Hey guys, this is Xenite. Welcome back! We are playing some more Asagawa Academy. When we last left off, we just met the Normal Boots guys. I wanted to talk a little bit about the Normal Boots guys. So, um, I, I mentioned that I had to watch all of... Not all of the videos, that would have taken forever. I wanted to watch some videos because I was not familiar with anybody. Um, and I don't really know who we're going for. Um, the thing is, like, I feel, I feel like, um, someone who is a current favorite is of most of the people playing. This is JonTron. Um, so I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know if, I don't, I don't know I want to be with, like everybody else. Or maybe there's like a way we can like get all the endings, but I don't know. Um, um, and I don't know about anybody else. Um, I know I haven't watched his playthrough because I noticed this only after I decided to play this game. Um, um, but I know that PBG is attempting to date himself. <laughs> I think. Um, maybe. I don't know. I've only read the thumbnail. Um, and then that leaves... Um, I don't know. I don't know. I guess... I guess maybe maybe we'll like look more at their in-game personalities than their actual personalities and decide from there. In, if that's the case, I have a tendency to go for the intellectual types, which means um, Satch is um, very, very much in the running on this one. He, he may be at the top of the list at this point, but I don't know. We'll have to see where things go. So, anywho, anywho she, exhe she exhaled a dreamy sigh into her mashed potatoes. Um, oh wait, I have to click, sorry. So, how, how would someone, you know, join the Neural Boots Club? You don't choose the boots, Hannah. Hannah, the, the boots choose you. Um, what, what is that even? You have to be invited. Like, why do you need this spelled out for you? You have to be presented with the boots to... You have to be presented with the boots in order to be in the club. They're, like, super selective. What are the boots? The club has this boots statue. I guess it, it's... Who's, what is this boots statue? It's, like, one of their patches, but it's gold-plated with... It's their mascot, I guess. They do this weird initiation ritual with it. Okay. Ritual... I hear there's a room with candles and they wear these creepy robes during initiation. This year, two girls said she saw it once and they were like all chanting around the boots and it sounded like they were talking backwards. Um, that's, that's weird. But I don't believe her and even if it's true, I don't care if they're a cult because they're all really hot. Um, that, that's, that's kind of a problem. Do they have a lot of friends? Um. Yeah, tons of friends. I say they're the most popular kids in school. I mean, everyone in school totally looks up to them. I bet they could get any girl in school, too. Um, okay then. Um, I just found a... Uh, sorry, I'm playing with my hair. <laughs> or a boy, for that matter. Ooh! <laughs> I want to unlock that option. <laughs> hey, are you going to eat your cake? I shook my head and pushed the plastic tray across the table to her. Why would you pass up on cake? Hannah, I don't understand you as a person. I do not understand you. For the remainder of lunch, I listened to my talk about Jared through mouthfuls of half-dissolved frosting. Back at the dorm, I sorted through the pile of textbooks the school left for me. Okay. My radio was playing a poppy tune, equal parts music to stat. Well, why would you listen to it then? I could not listen to a radio. I would rather go without music than have to listen to intermittent music. And intermittent with static. Um, my fervently scribbled a note in a notebook at her desk, hunched over it with strikingly poor posture. Hey, my... Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I had to say that, too. Uh, she didn't bother to look up. I, I'm, I'm supposed to have a textbook for History 309. Uh, she shuffled through her papers on the desk before producing a thick textbook. A demure man in a powdered wig frowned at me on the front cover. Yeah, this one. I sighed. I don't have that one. The school must have missed it. My shrugged and set the textbook back in her pile. They have a bunch in the library. You can just check one out. 
Where's the library? Mai rifled through her notebook and wrote something down. She tore the page out and handed it to me th and handed me a crudely drawn map. Oh, okay, well I'll be back in a little bit. Okay. Cool. Okay, now we're at the library. It took me at least 20 minutes to find the library. By the time I realized I was holding the map upside down, the sun was setting. <laughs> Good job. The light. well, I guess that part's like me. I can never find my way anywhere ever. Um, the library was much bigger than I expected. The walls li the walls lined from floor to ceiling with books of all sizes on rough wooden shelves. Intimidated, I headed for the front desk. A recognizably green and gray jacket was bent over the counter. Normal boots. I briefly considered running away. <laughs> Why? Uh, can I help you? Too late. Uh, yeah, the school forgot to give me one of my textbooks that I was told I could get here. Which one was it? History, History 309 textbook. He stepped from behind the counter and motioned for me to follow. We dodged between aisles in an uncomfortable silence. He seemed friendly enough. I should say something. What was his name again? Shane? Gerard? John? No, not John. Um... Satch. Huh? Why, why would you just say that? Blurt that out loud. Hana! The fuck? Um, you work here? Uh, of course you worked here. <laughs> Hana! You're blowing it! You're blowing our chance! This was our golden guy and you're fucking blowing it, Hana! God damn it! <clears throat> he chuckled, dimples appearing in his cheeks. Yeah, I'm the library's assistant. This is my second year, and I love it. I get to help people find books that speak to them. His eyes twinkled like a kid's on Christmas. Aw, oh, he likes books. That's the thing, though. I don't really like books. I don't know. Um, your book's right down here. Um, <clears throat> he stopped at a row of thick, dusty books. Was this all history? And pulled out... <clears throat> Sorry. I, I fucked up my throat. And pulled out the book with a powdered wigged man I saw earlier. <laughs> Thanks. He waved his hand. It was nothing. Do you need help with anything else? Um, uh, I wanted to make a good impression on the Normal Boots Club, but I couldn't come up with anything. No. Thanks. Copacetic. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, as we headed back through the cavernous library, my ease melted away. We weren't talking, but just being near him felt like being wrapped in a soft blanket. <laughs> I resisted the urge to- Hana! Stop being fucking creepy! Hana, what the fuck is wrong with you? We neared the front desk, stepping around the clump of students- of studying students. As we passed, one of them shifted. Oh, what? Something white flew past my face. A thick piece of white triangular paper lay at my feet. I bent over and picked it up. It was surprisingly heavy. There was a quarter inside of it. I, I thought you were in Japan! There are no quarters in Japan! What the fuck? Um, I, I was just a hair slower. It would have hit me in the face. <laughs> the students snickered, and I recognized the boys that made fun of my hair this morning among them. My heart dropped. I scanned my memory for anything I might have done to offend them, but I came up with nothing. My hand started to shake. I hid it behind my back, thinking of something to- some- trying to think of some way to defend myself. Why did you do that? It? What do you mean? We were just messing- we were just messing around! Are you suggesting that we did it on purpose? I faltered. There's nothing I could say. I was outnumbered. They could twist my words around, no matter how straightforward I was. No, I... Sorry. Sorry for what? You didn't do anything! Um... One of the boys held his hand out for the paper. I inched closer to give it to him, angry at myself for being so compliant. I wish I were... A gentle warmth closed over my hand and took the paper from me. Hmm. Satch examined the paper closely. I see what the problem is. Your aim would have been better if you'd cut the corners before you folded it. He placed the paper on the table. The boy looked at him in sheer awe. Be careful, though. You almost hit her. That would have been awful. My hands began to sweat as panic shifted through me, afraid of the response, but... 
Jeez, we're sorry. We'll be careful next time. Yeah, it was an accident. They apolo They apologized? Thanks, I appreciate it. He gave them a wide smile and continued off down the aisles. I followed close, closely behind my- I don't know if I read any of that right. Uh, uh, don't tell me they stopped because of him. Simply because I was with him. I wanted to thank him, but my heart was pounding so hard I knew my voice would shake. Ah, oh, god, I got my fingers stuck in my cords. <laughs> um... <clears throat> we reached the front of the counter, and he scanned the history book. My lips trembled as I willed myself not to fucking make out with him straight there on the spot. He tilted his head to the side. What books do you like to read? <clears throat> uh, fiction? Okay, uh, he chuckled. What books do you like to read out there? I'm into horror books, personally. Um, not really books so much, just horror stories in general. I keep inching the side of this frame, and it just doesn't wanna, doesn't wanna. Uh, anyway, uh, I just finished saying, uh, I just finished a good book. I think it, it'd be right up your alley, if you don't mind me saying so. He reached under the counter and pulled out a thick green book and passed it on to me. <coughs> a man in black... Oh, sorry. A man in black stood in front, hugging a woman in royal robes. Oh, they're talking about the cover. Sorry, I thought they were like talking about like someone in front of her at the. Ca I don't know what. Um, um, it's long, but it's one of my favorites, the Princess Betrothed. Um, I know, I know things. I God, my brain is getting so tired from reading. Ah, I don't read well. <laughs> I know things can be tough transferring to a new school. If you're ever worried, just read this. It'll transport you a hundred miles away in a second. Tears stung my eyes, so I ducked my head. Thank you, Satch. Why, why, what are you crying about? Fucking toughen up. Um, <clears throat> for more than just the books. You're welcome. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't think I got your name. I gave, I gave her, like, exactly the same voice I've been doing! <laughs> My name is Hannah Reason, and I'm a stranger's side guy. Like, I nail these fucking voices. Well, it's nice to meet you, Hannah. Let me know if you like the book. I will. Okay, cools. That could have gone... That couldn't have gone better. I, I think it could have gone better. Um, maybe if you weren't so fucking creepy, fucking Hannah. Uh, not only is Satchel possibly kind, but... Being around him felt easy, refreshing. Um, like being doused in a mist of what? Is he a warm blanket or is he a waterfall? What the? You gotta pick one, Hana. Be consistent in your thinking. Um, in cheeks hot, I left the library. Surprisingly, the two surprisingly heavy books under one arm. Okay. Um, settled into bed, eager to start with my new reading material, but. Mai was sitting at her desk, carving a pencil idly into the pages of a notebook. Every few minutes, she released a long, drawn-out sigh as the lead of her pencil whined against the paper. I lowered my book and took the bait. Is something wrong, Mai? She let another dreary sigh. <clears throat> I hope Jared notices me this year. Does Jared know you like him? My world... My world around in a faint shock. I don't like Jared. Oh. Uh, I close. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm so sure. I closed my book and set it aside, deciding to play no. along. Well, have you at least tried talking to him? <laughs> no, I mean, I have before. Why don't you try again? She bobbed her head from side to side, considering this like it never crossed her mind before. Yeah, yeah, maybe I could do that. Satisfied, I picked my book back up. Have you ever had a boyfriend, Hana? What? What, huh? Me? No, never. Really? Really? Never? Well, I mean, you're only in... Well... <laughs> I was gonna say, I never had a... I, I, I was never with anyone until I was, like, um, third, in hi third year in high school, 12th grade, but then I, I kind of realized I'm kind of a loser. So, <laughs> never. Um, 
I bet you ten- Well, now we're speaking in yen. Like, first it's quarters, and then it's yen, and then we go into euros, and yuan, and won, and fucking- When does the money stop? What? Pick your currency. All I want is a little consistency in the story. Anywho. <laughs> I bet you 10,000 yen that you- t Hang on. I bet you 10,000 yen you that you totally meet a cute boy and fall in love by the end of the school year. Um. You're crazy. It's a- It's a win! Take her up on it! It's a win-win! Because if- If you- if sh if she's right, then you got a boyfriend, and if she's wrong, then you got 10,000 yen! Like, go, go with it! Go with it! Um, then again, she might not have 10,000 yen. She seems like she's pretty poor. Anyway, I buried my face back in my book, barring my from any further discussion. I fall in love by the end of the year. Me? If I were a betting kind of girl, I might- I'd take- But it's a win-win situation! You can't lose! Come on, Hana, use your brain. <sighs> I woke the next the next morning with what felt felt like a lizard in my throat. Oh, are you getting sick? I like I like that too. <laughs> um, I was already up, shuffling through a school bag with an enigmatic grin. The first day of school. <clears throat> <laughs> wow. No, too much in the morning. I would- I would fucking throttle her by, like, day two. <clears throat> Hana, you're finally awake! Her voice sliced- exactly! Her voice sliced through the air like a knife and I winced. She was <clears throat> definitely a morning person. It's time for the first day of school. Aren't you excited? Um, not really. I can't wait to see what's gonna happen. What do you mean? Is something special happening today? <laughs> <laughs> something strange always happens on the first day of school, especially to someone like you. Are you planning something? Are you planning something? Is this my? Am I? Am I gonna be hazed? You're gonna haze me. What? Don't haze me. Uh, someone like me. Uh -huh. You know what I mean. No, I don't. I'm scared. Don't do this to me. She smiled and started messing with a pile of papers on her desk. Shaking my head, I got out of bed and pulled my uniform out of my closet. My palms sweat as I held the gold vest and blue jacket. Was it really possible for things to be different here than they were at home? If... What if the problem wasn't actually the school? I shook the thoughts out of my head and changed my into my uniform. Yeah, I mean, that's that's usually the case. Like you just you carry your problems with you and they're going to follow you and like no matter where you go, you got to you got to change yourself to change your life. Um <clears throat> anyway. Oh. Hmm, what is it? Aww. You look so cute. Really? Really? He crept up my neck. Yeah. Yes, completely. Your hair matches your uniform so well. You look like a flower blooming straight out of the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, that's, that's weird. No, I don't. My, you're fucking crazy. <laughs> Water stung the back of my eyes. I turned to start packing my backpack. Why was I getting worked up about something as little as this? I must have gotten less sleep than I thought. Is something wrong? Uh, no, nothing's wrong. I'm just happy. How dumb was that? I started crying at the first sign of someone being nice to me. Yeah, like, toughen up, Hana. Like, this is the second time I had to tell you, toughen up. Grow. I don't know. <laughs> Grow some courage. Um, I took a, day, a deep breath to steady my nerves. <laughs> um, what an oddly menacing la thud. Good. All the air left my lungs as something like horse hooves slammed against my back. <laughs> You'll do just fine. Don't worry. This is going to be awesome. I slowly peered over my shoulder. That... that was you? What? Huh? Mai stood behind me, her hand raised. Somehow she had the strength of a bodybuilder. <laughs> I think it's from all the volleyball she plays. Um, N nothing. I was just about to zip my bag up when I spotted the book that Satch gave me lying on the nightstand, The Princess Betrothed. He said that if I ever needed to be transported somewhere far away, I could take it with me. 
It was pretty good so far. Maybe it would be smart to bring it along, just in case I had no one to talk with between class periods. Would I need it for my first day of class? Oh, I think this is our first, like, major decision. Ugh. Um. Hmm. I've, I watched too much of this game. Um. But you know what? We're at about 20 minutes, so I will choose next time. So, uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully I will see you in the next video, and goodbye to you all, sirs and madams, and everyone in between.